One of the first things we see about adjusting these shapes is when you see something that's of this form. f of x plus k. Now, what this is, is you've got your function, and then outside your function, notice this guy's outside your function. Okay? It's like your function, and then either going to be adding or subtracting some numbers with that. Okay? And what that means for us, this guy right here indicates a vertical shift. It's going to indicate a vertical shift of k units. Okay? We're talking about a vertical shift of k units. Now, the first guy we want to look at is this one right here. f of x is equal to x squared minus 3. What we're going to do is when we see these functions, the way this function is laid out, there are going to be certain things to look for that tells us the shape that we have. And then we interpret the rest of it in terms of you know, where is the position, where is it located. Before, when we were graphing lines, a lot of times you would tell me, what's the slope and what's the y-intercept, right? And you know that with the y-intercept, that locates it on the graph, and then the slope gives you the rest of the points, right? right. We're going to do the same, pay, the same thing here with this. We're going to make these things really, really complicated. Okay? But in order to make them uncomplicated, you're going to list out every piece of information that you know about it. And then we piece it all together. So for this guy right here, what shape do you see that we're going to have here? U. U? U? Or maybe the parabola. parabola. What tells you the parabola? The square. square. This is a squaring square. function, so I know that my shape is something that looks like this. Now, this is a very rough shape. This is not my actual graph. This is an indication for what I'm looking at, what the shape is going to be. But this minus 3, notice this minus 3 is outside your function, right? So it's as though I'm saying do x squared and then minus 3. So what this means for us is that we have a shift down. Okay, we're going to go down how many units? Three. We're going to go down three units. You may say, well, how do you know it's supposed to be going down? It's negative. It's a minus 3, right? I'm taking my x squared and I'm taking it down three units. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to know what your basic key points are for your parabola, for your squaring function. The basic points are here at 0, 0, and then you just count them off. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. What was 1 squared? 1. 1. What was 2 squared? 4. 4, and then 3 squared was? 9. 9. So these were your key points. Your basic parabolic function is this guy right here that I'm dashing out. Now, that's not your actual graph. What I'm doing with this minus 3 is I'm taking this entire picture and I'm doing what with it? I'm going to bring it down 3. I'm not turning it upside down. I'm just taking this and I'm going to decrease him. I'm going to bring him down 3. So instead of starting at the origin at 0, 0, where will I start? Hold on. You can't say I start at negative 3 because we're starting at a point, and a point must be given us an order here. Zero. Zero. Zero, negative 3. I'm going to start here. Now, here's the way I like to do these. You see my normal shape here, right? And if you're okay with this shape, then why don't you follow me down here? This original shape, your vertex is at the origin, right? I want to make sure that my vertex here is also at an origin, so to speak. So what I do is that I just do this little dash set of axes going through this. Where your vertex is is zero, and you count this off. One, two, three, four, and so on. And there's the, here's the reason why I do that. What's zero squared? Zero. Zero. I didn't go up from here, did I? What's one squared? One. So from this new x-axis, so to speak, one. What's two squared? Four. So one, two, three, four. What's three squared? Nine. Nine. So here's three, and here's nine all the way up here. Now here's something I want you to see. How many units are between these two points? Um, three. 
Three. Three. How about these two? How about these? Three and three. So everything has been shifted down three, right? So a way to help me do that without having to worry about, you know, where are the original points and how do I, I need to go down three units. I can draw this new set of axes and base it off of this new origin, so to speak. Now, what do we say was that imaginary line that runs through the vertex? Axis of symmetry. So whatever I have over here, I can reflect it across. You get this point, and this one. See, this is three units over. Go three units over here, and you've got that one. I have enough points here. I should be able to nicely draw my line. Now, this is the tough part. You know, try and draw this by hand, hanging in that nice parabolic shape, making sure that you keep opening out as you go further and further out on the left and the right. So the parabola is the same shape, it will not, it will not flip, it is, it's only like no, a negative. No, it's three. the exact same shape, it's just I've taken this and I've moved it down. Imagine if you're working in some kind of um, picture editing software. Okay. You can take a picture, take an image, and you can move that around, right? Without changing, without stretching or anything. You, you can take it, cut it out, and you can reposition it, right? That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm taking this exact shape and I'm moving it down. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me show you this. If I start with x squared, see how it goes through where my original points were? Now, as I adjust this piece by piece, minus 1. Minus two, and minus three. I just took that image, and I went down three units, and there we go. Any questions about that?